Today I'm going to cook a dish called still life. And it's a dish which is really the expression of the spring. My name is Raymond Blanc. I'm the chef patron of Le Manoir Quatre Saisons and I'm in my garden. Thousands of seeds are underneath this earth, ready to burst into life and provide beautiful food for my guests. We think we are in Provence. Fabulous. And we'll grow 170 varieties of vegetables, all organic, of course. The garden is a canvas for my gastronomy. And I have 12 gardens here, 12 of them. And among them, there's a Valley Royal Mushroom. We don't grow vegetables here, we grow mushrooms. All this soil has been injected with mycelium to grow mycelium, and every block here will grow different mushrooms. This wood has been injected with a mycelium of shiitake. The mycelium will be fruiting, and shiitake will be growing up to these blocks of wood here. We will harvest during the whole season about 150 kilograms of shiitake. That is the mycelium. Okay, that's what feeds these mushrooms. Imagine, so you have all this network here underneath, okay, going deep and large, vast colonies. That's how mushrooms grow. I, I love these mushrooms because they connect also with my childhood. As a child, I hunted Girol, Trompet de la Mort, Black Trompets, Mori were the best, and I would go deep in the forest. And I knew my father gave me this magical map where I could find these mushrooms. So you have here this gorgeous, look how beautiful they are. That is a pink oyster mushroom. So there's yellow, there's gray, there's many, many colors. You can grow it in your own home very, very easily. Even your old socks, you know, you can use them as long as they're pure cotton or pure wool. Okay, that is perfect. We talk often about magic, but these mushrooms are truly magic and not the magic mushrooms you think of. Cooking for nature is hugely important for whether it's come from the garden or from the wild. No chemicals, no herbicide, no pesticide, pure. And when I can give that to my guests, I know my conscience is absolutely tranquil and they will have a feast. Lovely knife work, excellent. Okay. Bravo. Don't put it at an angle because you're going to break it. And what you learn, pass it on to somebody else. Okay, thank you. All these young baby vegetables are from my garden, grown organically. But the two main components are the asparagus. But the most important part of this dish, of course, is to celebrate fungi, to celebrate the magic of wild mushrooms. Inoki mushrooms orange, okay? The main part of the dish is mori, morels. I get very emotional when I talk about morels because I used to hunt them as a kid. Pepper, yo, asparagus. You recognize the fresh asparagus by making music with them. Okay, and I'm going to play a bit of violin for you. You know, you're in a, in a business, it's not the best music. So you hold flat like that, and then very simple. Voila. The green asparagus, you don't need to peel it. You remove these little things which are not pretty. Voila. All that part is very fibrous. And see, you never throw it away. You can do a lovely soup with it, with other vegetables, peeling or others, and you'll be amazed how delicious it can be. You need to steam the white asparagus for 30 minutes, and the green asparagus for only eight minutes. Et voilà. And steam it. The next step is to put your peas, your broad beans, Tiny bit of salt, tiny bit, a little bit of water. Up. You can put a tiny bit of olive oil, a bit of pepper. Voila. Ready to be cooked. Boom. So I put that away. The beautiful young peas here. And I'm going to just warm them up. I'm going to barely cook them. The monk's beer, look at how gorgeous it is. Okay, voila. Little baby spinach. Voila. A little kale here. Voila. My little sea kale now. But you can do anything you want, just spinach will do just fine, okay? Here I just want to show you the beauty of my garden, showing off a bit. Hop, voila, the pepper. And that will take 30 seconds to cook, no more. Not to cook, just to warm up. Voila, done. 
Yeah, it's beautiful. The enoki mushrooms, well, I just cut at the base. So you can see all the mycelium here. See where it grows from the block. Okay, it's quite amazing. I prepared a mori jus, a bit of Madeira Porto. I use dried moholes to make that jus. Mori ketchup, voila. I don't need all that, that's plenty. Voila. You get a tiny bit of olive oil. See how simple that cuisine is? That I will add at the very end to warm them up. Voila. So I'm going to start, of course, with what takes the longest, the mori. Taste, taste, taste all the time. Tiny bit of salt. And that's ready. That's lovely. Oh, they're gorgeous. Parfait. So, my peas and my broad beans, 10 seconds, no more, no more, that's plenty. So you retain flavor, color, nutrients, yeah. it's amazing. See, how, look how gorgeous the colors are. Voila, that's ready. Let me sell that from my garden. It will only take maybe four seconds and a half, no more. And voila, ready. Voila, let the steam go out, voila. Très bien, and they are ready. So, to make sure the asparagus are ready, just a knife, voila, no pressure, and you know it's cooked. The green asparagus a bit more pressure, because you want it quite crunchy. You have all your beautiful vegetables here, and you just let them fall wherever they want to fall, okay? Voila. Looks it's good. It's so dramatic. Voila. A little bit of a lot of oil and vinegar. You just brush. Put my peas here. Look at them, how gorgeous they are. It's fantastic. Mushrooms, that's my favorite mushroom. A bit of pepper. A few flakes. Voila. My little inoki mushrooms. Voila. They're so pretty, are they? Add a few as a look for, for texture. So here, you really have an expression of the spring. Both on the vegetables, asparagus, my own salad from my own garden, plus this wonderful woodland with the mori. Long live the magic of mushroom, whether they are in the plate, in my cooking, or in the woodlands across the world.